Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes The Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks Golf Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Kansas City Ice Center. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, September 22nd. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC show. Now, this segment is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. They offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. Call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. Now this month is National Acupuncture Month and you can save 20% on your first acupuncture treatment when you mention KC Sports or SheKC or Good Sports and call the Kansas City Chiropractic. Hello everyone, I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazines. You are watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show. Now, this show is being taped at Old Shawnee Pizza, which is located at 61st and Neiman, about a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway, where you can save $5 on any order of $25 or more if you mention KC Sports and Fitness. Visit their two locations, 61st and Neiman in Shawnee, where we are today, and 34th and Gibbs in Kansas City, Kansas. You can call in your order here at 913-631-5716 or at their other location at 913-677-1844. You can also visit their website, shawneepizza.com. Now today we're taping our radio show, which is on ESPN 1510 on Saturdays at 8 a.m. and our TV show, which can be seen on SureWest Cable on Channel 7 at 8.30 a.m. at 4.30 p.m. and at 8.30 p.m. every single day. And now you can also view our show and some of our past shows on YouTube, and all you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our latest issue of She KC is now available at over 500 locations, and our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in KC. And this month, with our current issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our Chiefs report presented by Bud Light. And this month, we point out five members of the Chiefs who must, must step up for the Chiefs to improve this season. I think the count is a little bit higher than that, like more like 15 or something like that. But we'll see. We'll ask one of our guests here today on that. But we, we point out five of them. We also talk to a new member of the Chiefs, uh, Peyton Hillis, as well. And in our new hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, we have an article on youth hockey. And we give you an update on the construction of the brand new outdoor NHL size ice rink, which is scheduled to open at the Kansas City Ice Center in November. And in SheKC, we have a story on former Olathe East and KU basketball player Daniel McCray, who's now playing pro basketball in the WNBA. Plus, we show you ways to stay safe and protect yourself this fall. You can pick up your current copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at all the Burger Kings around Kansas City at both Minsky's on Berry Road. Mr. Goodsense, the Kansas City Ice Center, the Fieldhouse of KC, and at Dick's Sporting Goods in the KC metro area. And for a complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports Magazine, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You will find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website. And you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on the website as well. And the publication SheKC is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Plus, you can visit our website, SheKC.com. You can check us out on Facebook by searching SheKC or follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, joining us at Old Shawnee Pizza, we've got a, a friend to our show who's been on the show a couple of different times. He is Bob Akers. He is the man in charge of the Surplus Exchange. What is, what's your official title, Bob? Executive Director. Executive Director of the Surplus Exchange, which we'll learn more about in just a few minutes. Uh, he's also very active as a youth soccer coach. And then he, we're also joined by Mark Simino, who is a two-time All-American from K-State, 
Uh, he's the Big 12 uh, Defensive Player of the Year w when he was a senior at K-State, a member of the College Hall of Fame, and a former NHL linebacker for 10 seasons. He also wore the Chiefs red for part of one of those seasons in 2010. Welcome to the show, Mark. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, um, first of all, uh, we're going to have a brief conversation with Bob about, uh, about the surplus exchange. Uh, can you explain to us what, what is the surplus exchange? exchange what it is you guys do there well we're an environmental nonprofit, and our our mission is really focused on uh, recycling electronics and making sure it's done properly but so much of the stuff goes overseas and does a lot of environmental damage we're trying to curtail that and uh, one of the really benefits of what we do is we triage everything and we have the ability to to redeploy it back into the the community and the last month we've given computers to other nonprofits. We've given about 14 laptops to uh, some kids that are in need in the independent school district so that they can uh, participate in, in their education in the virtual classroom. And at the same time, we're making sure that when it is end of life, it's being recycled properly and it's, uh, it's all being done here in the U.S. And the donations that you make, because you said you're a nonprofit, the donations you make are actually a tax deduction. Right. When people recycle with us, if it's uh, something other than a cathode ray tube product, um, that requires a fee for us to do properly. Everything else is a donation to a 501c3. And so you can, an individual that has a group of computers laying around the house or a business can, can take that as a tax deduction. Right, and if it's a business, we'll just come to your location and pick them up for you and leave you with all the paperwork. Plus, you take a lot of the equipment. If they've upgraded their equipment, uh, you've got a showroom in your building where you actually have like retail sales of monitors and parts and, and computers and things like that as well, but you make them available at a very discounted price. Right. Well, one of the things I'm really proud about is we don't beg for money. We don't uh, look for grants. We don't really need a lot of donations. We're self-funding, and the way we do that is by refurbishing the stuff and focusing on the small business, the startup business, the students that don't have a lot of money and make it available to them. And the other thing that you do is, uh, obviously, we talked about disposing of the equipment in a proper way, which is, you know, much better than just throwing it out in the trash and not knowing where it goes. Um, you know, you do that in the proper way. And then you have recycling events. You have places where we as individuals can come out on a Saturday and drop off stuff. Can, I'm going to mention some of those <laughs> later in the show, but do you, do you remember any of those? Uh, that I know that up? I'm doing one every, every uh, Saturday all through October, so I'll be a real sore person on most Sundays <laughs> in October. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a good way to get out, see the public, introduce them to e-stewardship, what we're doing, why we're doing it. Uh, you know, and, and a lot of people don't understand that uh, most of these electronic devices, including the things we have hanging on our head, com contain toxins, so it's better that they get handled properly. Yeah, you mentioned that our audio board has something in it at one point, and, and if it, that's broken down, it's very, it's very toxic for us as individuals. It's like, oh, great, I'm touching this thing over here, but, but that's just a part of it. And all, all the monitors that we have out right. here and everything like that have to be disposed of properly in order for us to not suffer as individuals. Right. There's a lot of polybrominated diethylene in... Uh, Spell that. The, the <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I usually don't even say it. Look that, yeah. <laughs> Look that up on Google. I everybody. can't believe I did that. But it's, it's, a, it's a flame retardant that's, that's in all this stuff, and it's, it's, it has the potential to be this century's lead. It's, uh, uh, okay. it's leading to development problems in unborn kids, uh, some real brain issues, but... Even in the adult population, we're seeing it affect the thyroid. So it's, wow. it's something we need to be aware of and, and not having our drinking water. Well, I know they talked about uh, not sitting, and, and I don't think it's that way, but with the old tube um, monitors, you, you shouldn't sit behind those monitors because of the stuff that comes out the back of those, especially if you're pregnant and things like that. So Yeah, there's a know. lot of radiation that comes off of all the electronic devices. Uh, to me, the, the bigger fear about the, the old cathode ray tubes, you know, if you've got those things sitting around your house, you're, you're really talking about 8, 6, 10 pounds of lead just sitting there. And if you break it, you know, you're, you're going to have lead dust in your environment. And if you cut yourself with it, you, you can have potential for other issues. So, so c contacting the surplus exchange or dropping those things off the surplus e exchange, you're going to take care of getting rid of that stuff again that, right. so that people are not going to be suffering from that and you can get it out of your house and, and dispose of it. Or if you've got old equipment, you can dispose of that as well. Or if you're looking for something new, some, you need a monitor, you need a, you know, a computer, you need a second computer, you, you're setting up a business 
Uh, you've got furniture there yep. as well. You've, you've got a big warehouse of furniture and things like that. And you help, you know, with the proceeds, some of the proceeds that you have, you help kids as well. Right. So, well, we've given away 11, I think, 1,100 computers to kids in wow. need in the Kansas City area. So, Wow. Uh, that's an ongoing part of our mission is if I see a kid in trouble, if I see an organization in trouble and I can help them, I'll help them. And where are you guys located? If somebody wants to come out to the retail store, and what are the hours for that? Uh, just follow Mark. He's, okay. He's, he's good at navigating. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's 518 Santa Fe in Kansas City, Missouri. We're in the, the west bottoms, <laughs> just uh, uh, west of uh, uh, the city market area. So it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting area. And I know the times that I've been there, the retail store is, is pretty busy. There's always somebody in there looking at something and trying to, you know, asking questions about things like that. You also clean co those computers that come in. Right. If I bring in my compu an old computer, you're going to clean it. You're going to clean it better than anybody else is going to clean it. So none of my stuff is going to go to anybody else, no nothing that's on that computer. Now, we, we uh, destroy data to DOD uh, uh, to their standards, so we use a... A special utility, a special application that will destroy all data, not knock down the partitions, which is something the average guy doesn't know how to do. So right. by the time it's done, it's completely done. And, and if in the process, uh, you know, it, it fails, we do what I really like to do. I beat it with a hammer. <laughs> so if I'm having a frustrating day, I, fun. I tell everybody just to keep those I uh, think that's side. another that's another side of your business then is to just uh, have a little room where people can... can Trash things. And yeah, it's our fitness program. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, let's let's <laughs> switch gears here. And, and since, since you brought up fitness, let's talk about sports and fitness. Now, Bob, uh, you brought up something in a conversation that you and I were having on the phone this past week that uh, there no longer are multi-sport athletes at the high school level. When we were growing up, there were many people that you know maybe played basketball and football, and they ran track or something like that, and they right. were you know multi-letter athletes. But that doesn't exist in this at this time. No, well, I I coach soccer. It's my passion. Um, I've been coaching uh, and helping set up programs for many years since I'm from the Jurassic period. You know, it's been a while since I played. But um, you know, the kids I coach, my my real concern with them is we're not really coaching the whole person, the whole athlete. We're we're coaching them to be very specific to a sport. And I think one of the things I'm seeing. Uh, that I don't like, the number of injuries I'm seeing to 14, 15, 16-year-old kids that are really severe. You know, it's a, it's a rough sport. I can accept a broken wrist. I can accept a broken ankle. That's going to happen. But I'm, I'm seeing a lot of ACL tears. I'm seeing a lot of chronic injuries. And I'm also just witnessing kids who I don't really think know how to run properly or move properly. And I think it's because we spend so much time teaching them to do things that are so specific to our sport with the ball at their feet. And that's one of the reasons, um, you know, I, I've been seeking good programs for a, for a few years. Uh, you know, I've coached a lot. I've coached in close proximity to uh, the, the CAPS programs, the speed and agility programs. And with my coaching eye from looking at it, I, I thought, well, you know, it's, it's okay, you guys read books and watched a lot of video. But I don't see a lot of really coaching that's going on that's going to help. And I've got players that run with, with horrible posture. Uh, and I, I have kids that I can just look at them, and I, I think their, their, their bodies are developing out of balance. So uh, I actually had somebody tell me about uh, Mark's program at SSP, and, and uh, I decided my son was going to be the guinea pig, and I put Carl in his program <laughs> and, and basically allowed Mark to do anything he wanted to him, just torture him, <laughs> do whatever you can do to him for, for three nights a week, and let's see what happens to the kid. And, the, you know, the, the thing that was beneficial is, is you know, obviously uh, I see kids going in there working out uh, during the summer. I think it was over there three times a week. And uh, the quality of the coaching is, is incredible. Mark has a great coaching eye. I didn't know what to think when I first went in there because I thought, okay, Mark Simino, I know the name, NFL guy. You know, his name's going to be out there, and he's going to have a bunch of guys who work for him, and, and you know, it, he, he just named it. And I went in there, and, you know, the first guy I saw was, was Mark, who walked mm -hmm. up and introduced mm -hmm. himself. And he took my son away from me, and they just went away. And I, I just, you know, it was basically, okay, so I'm not really needed here because his focus is totally on the kid. And, uh, you know, the, the, the work that they do there, uh, really does address the entire athlete. He takes into consideration that, that uh, you know, my son is a soccer player, but he also has volleyball players, basketball players, 
football players, and he takes into consideration what their needs are in their given sport, and then he coaches them, works with them, trains them, and gives them a more stable, a broader athletic base. I, I, I couldn't be more impressed, really. And I, I think if we introduce that back into to our sport, soccer, we're going to have uh, better, healthier uh, players, and we're going to have better players in general. Right. Well, Mark, let me ask you this. Uh, playing multiple sports, I've talked to pre, you know, former professional athletes <laughs> about, about their kids, and they say, no, I want my kid to play multiple sports because, one, it rests you in, in, your, in your sport, but it also works you as better as an, an overall athlete. Is that... Do you see that as well? I mean, I know you. You know, if you teach them the right fundamentals for whatever that sport is, um, you know, you're going to develop them as an athlete overall. Because you know, you found. I mean, you were like, for example, in high school. I read your your bio. You were a running back or something like that in high school, and then you wanted to become a defensive player as you progress. So people do change in what it is that they're doing, and I'm sure that uses slightly different muscles, even even in that way. So, um, do you see that? Yeah, with, I mean, I kids? think I think it's. Uh, with with the kids, I think it can be one of two ways, especially when you're young. I think it's good to play multiple sports, to be exposed to different things, um, to be able to just do different things. Um, as you get older, um, you get into high school, most of the high schools here in this area are, are bigger. Um, so, you know, like Bob said, the multi-sport athlete isn't as, as common <laughs> as it used right. to be. You know, if you're, you go to where I grew up in Smith Center, Everybody has to play all the sports because there's only a few people <laughs> there to play the sports. But here you have the option to, to be more specific with what you're doing. And, you know, you can, you, you know, guys are playing 12 months a year, same sport. You, you could definitely get some overtraining things. And, and that's, that's where the training comes in and building strength. So we like the athletes to take a time of the year where they can just rest their bodies from their sport and train and prepare. Um, for their upcoming season. So when an athlete comes in, how do you evaluate them? Because I, I, I coached hockey when my kids mm -hmm. were younger, and in that 13, 14, 15, 16-year-old age, uh, it was, there were mostly boys in the group that m my kids skated with. Their bodies are changing at different times. You know, yeah. they're, they're, I had the kid that was, you know, they still had the baby fat, and then I had the other kid that had the muscle that, you know, as he looked more like an adult. Yeah. How, you know, his kid comes into you and he wants to play football or he wants, to, or, you know, wants to play another sport and he wants to get better. How do you evaluate those kids? Well, as far as evaluation goes, we just, we do a lot of things where we're looking at mobility with the kids, and that's a common problem with a lot of kids is they yeah. just have poor mobility, poor posture, and those sort of things. And then we, we do a baseline of where they are physically, whether how they can jump, um, how they can sprint, their lateral quickness, all those things. And we get a really good picture of where they are at currently. Um, you know, I I always think of it as how, you, you know, it's not where you start, it's where you finish. So sure, sure. Whatever, their, whatever their passion is or what they want to do, if they're willing to work at it and train it and prepare, then, you know, I think they could be successful. You know, I... I look at myself as an example. I was in seventh grade. I only weighed 79 pounds, and you probably would never thought I would have played in the National Football League, but I trained. I prepared. It meant a lot to me. I wanted to do really well, and I was consistent, and I feel like if a kid has that passion, and, and even if you have just average ability um, with the right preparation, you could you can become um, really whatever you want to be. And that key word is right preparation, and that's one of the things that you give, and that's one of the things that Bob referred to as is doing it the right way is going to uh, help you avoid injury. And so you look at those minute little things that, you know, Bob, is, Bob and I have had discussions about how you run and, and, and stuff like that. One, it's going to make you faster if you do it the right way, but also it's going to prepare you for um, situ mm -hmm. situations that are going to keep you out of injury. I mean, you know, what kind of things do you look at in that case? Or how do you train, you know, how do you train the kids in those ways? Well, I mean, there is injuries are a big, a big issue, sure. um, and uh, you know we try to we try to train as far as our strength training goes. We we'll always look at it as structural balance, and want to always maintain structural balance. So, you know, we train the posterior as much as we do as the anterior. So, um, you know, is the outside, the anterior is inside of your posterior is behind. Oh, behind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, <laughs> so a lot not, of times, not that behind, but yeah, behind. everywhere <laughs> behind. You know, okay. so so. So basically, most people 
most most of high school athletes want to go to the gym and they want to do the things that they can see in front of them in the mirror you know so you start to create imbalances gotcha. there so we want to address those imbalances and a lot of the postural things so we train that you know sometimes you have to go in the other direction you may just eliminate some of the things that they've done all the time so you can correct those imbalances so that's something we address with the kids a lot you know abduction uh, is really important we do a lot of like lateral work um, working on just abduction strength which is that will core? Is that the core no right it's there? the hips you oh, okay. know so so a lot of injuries with the knees will come because of the weakness in the hips because they can't oh, wow. stabilize and then it puts them it's more they're more susceptible to injury that way so we just try to address it from a you know a total total body thing where we're trying not to, we're not trying to leave out anything we're trying to make sure we're addressing sure. everything with the athletes to give them the best chance to stay as healthy as possible and to and to perform as well as they possibly can so you've seen uh that in your son the the guinea pig right bob yeah yeah well and, and again you know when it gets back to little things like his uh, uh mark's coaching eye getting just his foot strike in the proper position when he's going to sprint uh getting his posture proper properly adjusted when he is sprinting and how to to transition from the sprint um, you know the first 10 yards the explosive part to sort of that cruising on out because you know a soccer player I sent Mark a tape of Carl running about 50 yards that, that ended in him getting taken down but resulted in a goal and he transitioned through all of that was able to, to stand a defender up make a fake and then get around him well you know I I really credit Mark for a lot of that mm -hmm. you know that 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 being able to gather yourself up, load those muscles up, be in the, pro the proper position to, to, to slow down and then accelerate back out. You know, that's, he's getting a lot of that uh, with Mark's training. So how can somebody find you, Mark? What's your address, your phone number, your website? The phone number is 913-645-7083. And uh, just go to SeminoSportsPerformance.com um, and you'll get a lot of information on that. And again, you can email us at the uh, website or, or call us. And you can see and you can see his facility. You can see some athletes doing some things on your website as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you can just call and you work with kids from the little guys to the to the professionals. Yeah, you know. Yeah, uh, we, we do, and we and we started some uh, kind of cross training classes too for the adults and uh, for we adults that just need just, just to just work, to out work out, and get yeah, in better that's shape. Awesome. Yep, that's so. awesome. Well, guys, thank you very much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazine show. We're coming to you from Old Shawnee Pizza, which is located at 61st and Neiman, just a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. What five Chiefs players must step it up for the team to improve this season? How will Mizzou fare in the SEC? This month, Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine catches football fever with features on the Chiefs presented by Bud Light, college football sponsored by the Surplus Exchange, and high school football presented by Siege Sports. Plus, check out the Great Life at River Oaks Golf Report and the Kansas City Ice Center Hockey Report. We've got the sports stories you can't find on the web until we put them there. Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. It's always free, so pick one up today. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesday, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. And this month is National Acupuncture Month, and you can save 20% on your first acupuncture treatment. Just mention KC Sports or SheKC. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and KC Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Whether you're playing a sport 
running a business, or learning how to use an iPad. Your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913 913- Four three eight five four three three. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrews Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivera. For tee times, call St. Andrews at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. Get two large one-topping pizzas for just $14.99 at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th and Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 12627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from Kansas City Sports. Great pizza and a great offer you can't refuse. Call Mafia Mike's at 913-660-1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913-322-6666. If you're buying or selling a home, contact Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. The Shannon Dozer Real Estate Group delivers a personal touch, professional approach, and positive results for every customer. Call Shannon at 913-488-9126 or visit shannondozer.com. We are back. You're watching and listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine and She KC Magazine. I am Steve Fish, and this show is being taped at Old Shawnee Pizza, which is located at 61st and Neiman, a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway, where you can save $5 off any order of $25 or more if you mention KC Sports and Fitness. Visit their two locations at 61st and Neiman in Shawnee, where we're doing our show here today, and 34th and Gibbs in Kansas City, Kansas. You can call in your order here at 913-631-5716 or at their other location at 913-677-1844. You can also visit their website, shawneepizza.com. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report. This month, we interview Jayhawk offensive lineman Pat Lewandowski, Wildcat quarterback Colin Klein, and Tiger wide receiver Marcus Lucas. And in She KC, we feature a story on the UMKC volleyball team, plus we give you warning signs for something called the female athlete triad. Now, you can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Ice Center and at Mafia Mike's Pizza at 87th and Lackman and Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. Now you'll find SheKC all over Kansas City at over 500 locations, and you can find those locations on our website, SheKC.com. If you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our websites and follow the links to our pages, and our websites are kcsportspaper.com and SheKC.com. And now you can view our show, the show that we're doing right now, and some of our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and they include the Community Blood Center, where you can get a certificate for a free large one-topping Papa Murphy's Pizza if you donate blood on Monday at the Blood Center. So on any Monday during the NFL season, you can save a life, you can score a pizza, and enjoy Monday night football later on that night. For more information, visit savealifenow.org. Siege Sports, unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience. For sports like you've never seen it before, Siege Sports is the answer. Call 913-953-8400 or visit SiegeSports.com. 
The Missouri Comets indoor soccer team who play at the Independence Event Center, their Fan Fest is coming up on September 29th from 3 to 6 p.m. And admission is free. For ticket information, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. And hang on because we're going to be talking to one of their players in our next segment. Oliver's Pizza, where you can take advantage of their $5 sandwich special uh, at lunch and come out for the Parkway Plaza Fall Festival on September 29th. From noon to midnight, admission is $5 for the event, which will include music, fun events for kids, and more. And $2 of that benefits the National Kidney Foundation. And Paint, Glaze, and Fire Ceramics and Coffee House, located at 127th and Metcalf, where you can get $5 off your purchase of $25 or more with your coupon in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. To unleash your creativity, call Paint, Glaze, and Fire at 913-661-CLAY or visit paintglazeandfire.net. Plus, we want to mention several advertisers in She KC, and they are Kansas City Chiropractic, Safe Kansas, Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Pulofsky and Associates, Sport Court, Stanley Jazzercise, Gardens of Delight Yoga, Heritage College, The Field House, I-9 Sports, and Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. Now, we're going to take another quick break here. Uh, we're coming to you from... Old Shawnee Pizza, which is located on 61st and Neiman, just a half a mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway. When we come back, we will be talking with a member of the Missouri Comets. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. For sports like you've never seen before, Siege Sports is the answer. Unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience. Contact Siege Sports at 913-953-8400 or visit SiegeSports.com. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center is now enrolling for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Come on out and check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit KCIceCenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman, and 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. Take advantage of the NFL Sunday Golf Special at Heart of America Golf Academy. On Sundays from 11 to 3, play nine holes with cart for only $15. And sign up now for play and practice memberships. Visit HOAGolfAcademy.com or call 816-513-8940 for details. Your center for natural healing is the Gardens of Delight. Yoga, Tai Chi, natural wellness therapy in a serene setting near downtown Parkville. Visit GardensofDelight.org or call 816-584-0777 for more information or to sign up for a yoga class. Come check out KC's premier basketball training facility, the Field House of KC. The Field House is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, from player skill development, athletic performance enhancement, and character enrichment. Mark your calendar to visit the Field House for their grand opening on Saturday, October 6th. Youth and men's league, sports camps, exercise, and more. The Field House builds the athlete inside the player. Stop by the Field House of KC at 135th and Quivira. Call 913-897-HOOP or visit fieldhouseofkc.com. Someone has to motivate her. Someone has to prepare him. Someone has to lead them. Someone has to train them. Heritage College. Train to be a personal trainer. Get started today. Call 1-866-845-3613. That's 1-866-845-3613. Sign up now for the fall programs presented by I-9 Sports. Flag football, soccer, cheerleading, basketball, and baseball for boys and girls 2 to 14. All skills are welcome and there are no tryouts. Call 913-904-0810 or visit I-9sports.com. 
Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com. And for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. Donate your life-saving blood every Monday during football season at Community Blood Center and receive a free large Papa Murphy's pizza. For details like CBC on Facebook or click SaveAlifeNow.org. Come on out to the Kansas City Comets Fan Fest on September 29th from 3 to 6 p.m. at the Independence Event Center. Admission is free. For more information on Fan Fest or tickets for the Kansas City Comets upcoming season, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. Welcome back to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness and CKC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and CKC Magazines. I am Steve Fish, and this show is being taped at Old Shawnee Pizza, located at 61st and Neiman, a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway, where you can save $5 off any order of $25 or more if you mention KC Sports and Fitness. Visit their two locations, 61st and Neiman in Shawnee, where we are today, and 34th and Gibbs in Kansas City, Kansas. You can call in your order here at 913-631-5716 or at their other location at 913-677-1844. You can also visit their website, ShawneePizza.com. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the Surplus Exchange, where you can take a tax donation credit plus help KC students when you recycle your electronics and office furniture at the Surplus Exchange. Watch for upcoming recycling events on October 6th at Lee Summit High School and October 13th at the Black and Beach Campus in Overland Park. And for more information, visit surplusexchange.org or call 816-472-0444. Now, I also want to mention some of the experts who each will be a part of our show during the month. And they are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic off the Plaza, Former Royal World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition who will share nutritional supplement information with us. And nationally known safety expert Marty Augustine from Safe Kansas. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, uh, health solutions, sports, and more. And you can read a health or a sports tip from each in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness or SheKC. To read each of their current articles, pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Burger Kings in Kansas City and the Sport Clips in the Kansas City metro area. And SheKC is also available at over 500 locations. Now, this month, SheKC, we tell you if it's best to eat before or after exercise, and we write about rowing for fitness, for exercise, and for college scholarships. Plus, in KC Sports, we feature our golf report presented by Great Life Golf and Fitness. We give you advice on how to simplify your game. And in our high school report presented by Siege Sports, we outline some of the storylines to watch for the current football season. And I also want to mention that on Saturday, September 29th, we will be at the Parkway Plaza Fall Festival. And we'll be recording at Oliver's Pizza, and there'll be music, a beer garden, lots of kids' activities, including face painting and inflatables, clowns, and more. And our taping will start at about noon that day. Also, in October, on the 6th, we will be at the Fieldhouse of Kansas City for their grand opening. Its uh, Fieldhouse is located at 135th and Quivira. Our taping will start at about noon as well that day. On October 13th, we will be at the Kansas City Ice Center recording an upcoming show. And the KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. And our taping usually starts about 1230 at the KC Ice Center. So come on out and join us at these events, and you might see yourself on TV. Oh, and also one more, uh, we'll be back here at Old Shawnee Pizza, which is located a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road, and uh, uh, sometime in October, probably that weekend after we're at the Kansas City Ice Center. Uh, now joining us uh, here at Old Shawnee Pizza is Brian Harris, and he is a former member of the UMKC soccer team. He was a scholastic All-American. He's now a professional soccer player. He's entering his second or third season. Going into my third season. Third, third season as a defender for the Missouri Comets indoor soccer team. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me. Thanks for coming out. Now, you're actually from Illinois, Edwardsville, so you're kind of a St. Louis kid. Um, where did you play high school? I played at uh, Edwardsville High School. Okay. Smaller city. Na name of the, yeah, the, the one high school in there, in there, or they have more? Yeah, it's the one high school. It's a massive high school. Uh, our class was uh, 765 okay. graduating class, yeah. so pretty good school. Yeah, now, uh, did you play 
for the high school team and club soccer as well? Because there's this controversy now about all that stuff. Did you play in both of them? Yeah, I did play in both. I played for the high school and then uh, played for a club team called Metro United. Okay, I've heard that name. Yep. For sure heard that name. They're lo- they're here in Kansas City as well. So uh, so you played four years at UMKC. Uh, you, so you, did you complete the whole four years? I played two years at uh, UMKC. Oh, okay. I was a junior okay. college transfer from oh, uh, okay. Southwestern Illinois uh, Community College where I was uh, uh, All-American my second year there yeah, cool. as well. So I played forward in college right. and now play defender for the Missouri Commons. Right, yeah, and I'm wondering why, why there's the change. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but you had a record of 28 points at UMKC, which is kind of their, um, you know, their uh, sing- you're holding the scoring single season scoring record there for yep. UMKC. Does that is that still holding as well? Still holding. Good for you. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Um, and uh, you also were uh, a student athlete to earn an All American honor as well. So that's great that you the scholastic side was important to you. That's very cool. So what was your major when you were at UMKC? I studied communication, emphasis okay. in interpersonal and uh, right, public well, communication. Well, you just take over from here then, <laughs> you know. Um, so so you played at UMKC. Um, we were talking about this before we started recording, but how did you get re- uh, recruited by the Comets? Um, just actually uh, played for a team in St. Louis, the uh, St. Louis Lions in the uh, PDL League. And uh, my coach, Tony Glavin, actually played for the Comets when they were first here in Kansas City. And, you mean uh, the very first time way back? Yeah, or, way, okay. way back. Okay. You know, so I'm kind of showing his age for okay. him. So yeah. That, you know. um, yeah, so he uh, contacted me and said there was going to be a tryout um, before the season when they first started back up. And uh, I sent in an email and got an email back saying, yeah, you can come up and try out. And did well in the tryouts. And Landed my spot on the Comets, so here I am. So you did. They're doing a an, an open tryout today and tomorrow as well, and that that's kind of what you went through. Is yeah, that, similar that process. There's the open, and then there's the invite, and the right. invite's more kind of uh, you know players that they kind of know have played, and where the open's kind of finding a diamond in the rough. Sure, sure, yeah. Um, and so you had played actually played indoor soccer uh, before. The Comets experience? Yeah, I mean, kind of, uh, you know, you have your pickup leagues and everything like that and playing indoor. Um, you know, some, some there's some training places in, in Edwardsville, Illinois as well, mm-hmm. that you can kind of go out and play at a higher level, but nothing at the uh, professional level. Well, didn't they have at, at one point, yeah, you didn't play, but didn't they used to have the steamers or something like that in yeah. St. Louis? Yeah, oh, yeah, I remember going to those games. Okay. And yeah, well, that was when I was a little guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And now you're you're mentoring the little guys. So yeah, that's, trying that's, to. That's very nice. A, a nice cycle there. So so what's it, it was the indoor game from coming from the outdoor game? Was the indoor game tough to adapt to? Absolutely. The first year I was uh, I was lost in the indoor game. I really? Mean, yeah, coming from outdoor where you're playing an 11 v 11 to 6 v 6 and subbing on the fly, it it, it was really difficult to pick it up. But uh, it's a lot of fun, um, challenging, fast pace. Uh, it's it's a hard game. But, yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of it in my third season. So uh, I'm very excited for this year. Yeah, for for fans out there that know the outdoor game but don't know the indoor game, it's faster. It's a little bit more exciting because the players are on top of each other a lot quicker. Uh, There's more scoring in it. There's a different kind of way that you guys count your scoring, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, you know, I mean, I guess you get two points. Actually, we'll talk about it now. You get two points for a goal. Is that right? And uh, then you've actually got a three-point goal. Just yeah. Explain, explain that. It's basketball-style scoring. So anything in a 45-degree arc, there's a 45-foot arc. Um, anything inside of that is two points. Anything beyond the 45 um, arc is a three-point three point goal. So you're never really out of the game in indoor. You know, we, uh, you know, our first year – playing Milwaukee in the uh, playoffs we actually were down by 15 Ooh. points or so wow and uh, we had a couple three-point goals and got us right back in the yeah. game and and tied the game up and unfortunately we lost in the last minute of the game but uh, you know you're never out of it that's awesome that's great that gets, that keeps the fans involved in it and you know that as players so you can just jump you know oh yeah you, you can just jump in and things like that so now do you play four quarters or do you play two halves or four quarters okay. 15 minute quarters okay so yeah it's uh there's tv timeouts or you know you get two timeouts per per half as well as a team 
So um, is it stop clock like hockey, or or when when the play stops, does it stop? Yep. As well, yeah. I don't think in the outdoor game it doesn't stop. Correct. When the ball goes yeah, out it's bounds. continuous in the outdoor game. Indoor, you know, the ball goes out of bounds, clock stops. You put the ball down. You got five seconds to play the ball. Um, so you know, it's it's back in play immediately. Uh, there's really no time to uh, to rest. You know, yeah. you set the ball and you play. <laughs> yeah, or you get off the field and and you change on the fly like at hockey, and that's that's always fun. Um, plus, you know, at the Independence Event Center, you're you're very close to the fans. I mean, we were talking about that off camera as well with somebody that was having lunch here yeah. at uh, Old Shiny Pizza, and it's like 15, 16 rows or so from the field is the far the highest that you are. Yeah. So there's that great involvement. I mean, you can see their faces when you're out on the field. You can feed off the electricity, yeah. be it good or bad. If you're <laughs> if you're in a away game, you can feed off their electricity as well. So. Uh, you know that's that's all very cool experience. It has to be a neat experience to be doing that on you know in the indoor game. So yeah, it's a great facility to play at, especially with having that crowd so close to you. I mean, you know, when we warm up, I run around and high five all the uh, little <laughs> little guys hanging over the edge. So it's quite fun. So um, did, when you came to the Comets, did somebody put you under their wing and, and help mentor you to get started in, in what you're doing? Because obviously, you also changed positions. You went from a uh, a forward in the outdoor game to a defender, but the defenders are also a part of the offense in the indoor game. Yeah, it's time. it's it's really. I mean, you're you're in a, involved in every every play. You know, I mean, defense, forward, midfield, any of the positions. Um, you know, you're always involved in the play. I mean, there's never a dull moment in yeah. indoor. Yeah. So tell me, what were some of the personal highlights from your first and second seasons? I mean, you know, what were some of the things that that you just remember and you you know have the little place in the trophy case to, to say, hey, yeah, I did that and I did that, you know, or at least in memory in your mind. Yeah, the, the first season, uh, you know, just kind of when I was a rookie, I was just so ha so excited to be, be on the team, you know, mm -hmm. and, and just be part of it. And then just learning from the older guys, learning how to play. And then I was an all-rookie um, first year, so that was a pretty, pretty big award for me, um, you know, just to, to put in there as well. And then I also joined a uh, cancer foundation, so the Dalton Burner Foundation, which was a huge, huge thing for me, um, you know, to be a part of and, and spread the word for, you know, childhood cancer and be a huge advocate for that. And that's really kind of one of the best things that I've been a part of. Well, let's talk about that a little bit more. Um, you know, you instantly became a Comet favorite for, for doing that. Um, the story that I read was the guys on the team played a prank on you and did something to your hair. Yeah. And you said, I don't like this hair hairdo, so you're going to shave your head. And yep. so you shaved your head, and then as you were going around and high-fiving the kids, uh, you, you met this one kid. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, they... they uh <laughs> with all the rookies they shave their heads well <laughs> they kind of gave me a inverted mohawk i guess you say <laughs> they shaved it right down the middle so nice. i had about as long as hair as i have right it may be a little bit shorter um but they shaved it right down the middle and then shaved the sides and you know kind of kind of made it look good and you know they dared me to dared me to wear it like that so i was like i have no shame i'll wear it like this and i'll play a few games so <laughs> you know the road games wearing a hairdo like that really brought fan attention uh, <laughs> i mean to say the least i heard some things that probably i can't say on the uh say on the radio but um yeah but after that you know i i kind of you know fell in love with this kid i met him at children's mercy oh, we, okay. we kind of went uh, myself and danny went went and visited him um, you know, and I just, I, I just couldn't imagine this, what this kid's going through at six years old, right. you know, so we just immediately like clicked and just to see him smile, uh, you know, his parents said they haven't seen him smile in about seven months and that mm -hmm. just stuck home with, with me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, when I was growing up as a kid, my, uh, neighborhood buddy, uh, seven years old, he actually passed away with leukemia. So uh -huh. it was kind of one of those things. I went to my mom when I was seven years old and I said, mom, um, you know, if if I could, I would carry him out onto the field on my shoulders. Um, if he couldn't, if he couldn't play, and right. you know that stuck with her. And the first time uh, Dalton actually got to come to the game was uh, the 28th of December, and I shaved my head for him right before nice. the game. Just completely shaved it off for him, and uh, it's a pretty cool picture. It's a great picture. That yeah. I saw, the, the two of you, he's smiling like crazy, and he's got his hand up. He's got his hand on your on your yep. your shaved head, and it's a, yeah. it's a great picture. I'm going to try and get it on on the TV version of yeah, our show here. Certainly. So uh, so yeah, um, 
you created a program to help uh, other youngsters, uh, you know, his foundation, actually. Yes. You guys, he has a foundation, and you do something with the uh, Comets where you have a certain number of tickets that are yeah. available that, that, you know. Yeah, I donated, uh, you know, I donated my name um, four season tickets to a family mm -hmm. in need every single game. So, you know, just, just like Dalton, he was in the hospital for, you know, eight months, and he wasn't able to leave, but then finally actually – got to uh got to leave and we invited him to a game it mm -hmm. was on 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 the comets and uh, got him out to a game and it it just from there i just wanted to do the same thing for a family that's maybe been in the hospital for a little while sure. try and get their mind off and give them a little bit of a break and uh you know that's it, it's a it's a small thing that i can do um for them which you know it's awesome it yeah, really it is awesome. yeah nice. that's that's really great that you do that because it's you know, I mean, you need those breaks, those mental breaks oh, yeah. and things like that, and those distractions when you're doing that. Um, so, uh, question for you. You're, you're coming off an injury. What was the injury that you had? You had surgery for it, or can you share what injury it was? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, you know, I was tackled in the uh, playoff game March 9th, uh, you know, kind of blindsided and uh, tackled from the outside, and I just rolled my ankle in, ah. you know, just kind of a freak accident and just uh, – you know, had a couple fractures in my ankle and had to get that taken care of. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm nearing the end of, of rehab and, you know, uh, talking to the doctors, they think I'm going to be 120% um, when I come back, which is uh, quite amazing. And, wow. you know, just the things that they can do nowadays, your ankle actually is stronger than your other ones. So. Really? Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I've been running, been doing uh, physical therapy out at boost therapy and they're really putting me through uh really th putting me through some challenging uh <laughs> events but uh it's, it's all for the better and and uh in the process of last season i think or the season before uh, uh you're, you're wearing some of this stuff here you you got some new shoes that you were showing off i saw a video of that yeah and, and explain it, do you have an endorsement deal or yeah or some an equipment deal yeah and it is? A, a, uh, equipment equipment deal with uh pele sports um you know so i get to represent pele sports nice um for this upcoming season as well so uh, you know look look for some gear to come out into the crowd this year so <laughs> you know it's kind of they're they're awesome company you know i just kind of landed the deal last year um with shoes and gear yeah like you said i have you know the the sweatsuit on today uh it's a little warm in here so i don't want to wear the <laughs> coat right here but it's on the back of the chair yeah yep. You know, but it, it's it's an awesome deal. You know, I get some shoes and be able to 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 spread the word of Pele Sports and you know with with Pele being one of one of the greatest players, it's just awesome to mm -hmm. represent his brand. That's terrific. So so with the Comets, who are some of the biggest rivals that you go up against every season, uh, and personal rivals for you? Um, we got the uh, Milwaukee Wave. Um, you know, that was the team to beat last year. Obviously, being the defending champions. I see. And then now Wichita Wings, you know, so that brings back the uh, old-time rivalry, and we get to play them four or five times this year, and uh, it's it always is a battle with those guys, you know, being three hours away from each other. Right, right. You know, so it's it's a fun it's a fun atmosphere when you get into those rivalries because the games mean a lot more to you, and then you get into the playoffs and you know just just want to go at it and, For sure. and, and beat them. And I hear your style is a pretty aggressive style on the field. Uh, as well, yeah. but you're going to get in their face. You're going to you're not going to give them any room or yeah. anything like that. You're going to do you use the body? I mean, is it you can't check necessarily? But, yeah. But you can put your body in between their body and the ball. You and, can and you squeeze your way in. You can position yourself to yeah. get in there. And uh, you know, being being a five nine guy going up against a six two guy, you got to be physically strong to uh, to handle it. And you know, when I was in in college as a forward, um, you know, I would always go up against those big guys. <laughs> so I, I learned over the years how to how to position myself and how to get strength. And you know, I feel like a yeah, a pretty physical guy. Well, the first game of the Comet season is actually coming up on November second, and they play that Wichita team. Uh, that's a great way to get started. And then you go to Wichita, I think, and you play two days later yep. in Wichita. And I guess it's a 26-game season, yep. so 13 home games uh, that start in November and they go through playoffs end in, what, March? In April? March, yep. okay. yeah. So November 2nd, come out and check us out. Uh, home opener uh, should have a packed house, especially against Wichita. And, yeah, and I, I looked, and you've got a lot of great home dates on Fridays and Saturday nights and Sunday afternoons, so they're very convenient and they're good times to bring the family uh, out to that um 
I want to mention as well that season tickets are on sale, and the range is really inexpensive. And you can get you can find tickets in group sales uh, for the comments at ten, starting at ten dollars, depending on the size of your your tickets. So that's kind of like going to a movie. It's really yeah. great. Um, you can find out more at CometsIndoorSoccer.com. The phone number is 855-KC-ARENA. Brian, thank you for joining us. I hear you're a Christmas baby. I'm a December 24th baby, so we share something there. We'll talk about that off the air. But believe it or not, that will do it for today's show. My thanks to our host for today's show, Will Walker, and the staff here at Old Shawnee Pizza and our guest, Brian Harris, from the Missouri Comets, who opened their season on November 2nd, and Bob Akers from the Surplus Exchange and former Chief uh, NFL Pro and K-State great Mark Semino. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports health and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazine's You'll find them all over Kansas City, and they're free, so pick them up today. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome, and this month is National Acupuncture Month, and you can save 20% on your first acupuncture treatment. Just mention KC Sports or SheKC. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and KC Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like going to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. Visit firstcharterbus.com or call 866-514-8747 and choose yellow and choose first. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center is now enrolling for learn to skate and learn to play hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Come on out and check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit KCIceCenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. Take advantage of the Oliver's Pizzeria Lunchtime $5 Sandwich Special with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Enjoy a club meatball grinder or barbecue brisket sandwich at lunchtime for just $5 at Oliver's. And come on out to Oliver's for the Parkway Plaza Fall Festival on September 29th from noon to midnight. Admission is $5 for the event, which will include music, fun events for kids, and more. And $2 benefits the National Kidney Foundation. For more details, visit Oliver's at 4800 West 135th Street or go online to oliverspizzeria.com. Unleash your creativity at the Ceramics and Coffee House at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Come out for Family Fun Night, Kids Night Out, or many of the other scheduled events at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Or make your next birthday party, group event, or bridal shower unique at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. And right now, get $5 off your purchase of $25 or more with your coupon in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Call Paint, Glaze, and Fire at 913-661-CLAY or visit paintglazeandfire.net. The Ceramics and Coffee House, located at 127th and Metcalf. Come on out to the Kansas City Comets Fan Fest on September 29th from 3 to 6 p.m. at the Independence Event Center. Admission is free. For more information on Fan Fest or tickets for the Kansas City Comets upcoming season, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA.
I'm Cheryl Burke, two-time champion of Dancing with the Stars, and Jazzercise is my kind of fitness. It's the only place I can dance to Justin, Beyonce, and Pink and get a total body workout in 60 minutes. Visit Stanley Fitness Center at 151st and Lowell or call 913-486-8722. Hey ladies, we now have a free sports health and exercise magazine we can call our own. It's She KC. Every month, She KC shares stories that will inspire us, entertain, and educate us, and give us ideas to help make life easier. I went to SheKC.com to find out where I could get my free copy of the publication. I also like She KC on Facebook and She underscore KC on Twitter. And now I'm part of the She KC community. Are you? <laughs> 